In this part of our setup series, TMC focuses on the High Performance Lab Table 63533. We'll discuss unpacking and handling a 30 by 36 inch table with a 4 inch thick clean top to breadboard top. Other setups may vary slightly. Remember to practice safe lifting and handling. When in doubt, seek assistance. TMC is always available by phone to help with questions. These tables come packed inside large cardboard boxes with steel strapping. The top is packed at the bottom, which makes the system more stable for trucking. The complete table system weighs 500 to 700 pounds, depending upon size. To break the banding, tin snips are the best tool. Exercise caution, the strapping may spring back when cut. Dispose of the strapping properly. Also included inside the box will be any accessories included with the order front support bar or armrest pads, for example. For smaller frames, two people can lift it out of the box. To make it easier to lift, we are cutting back the cardboard box. Place the leg frame in the position it's going to sit in the lab. Once the top is in place, it is much more difficult to move. Once the table is positioned, Adjust each leveling foot on the bottom of the leg so that the dimple is pointing towards the front or side. This will make it easier later when leveling the system. Do not extend the leveling foot too far out. It is difficult to get back on. The leveling foot has a 5 8 inch throw and is shipped in the middle of the throw. Be careful not to pinch your finger under the leveling foot. For this table, the top is packaged separately. If you are opening a lab table with a 2 inch thick top, the top would be located inside the same box as the legs, not in a separate box as shown here. Use care when moving the top. Here we are sliding it onto the fork tines with cardboard between the top and the tines to prevent scratching the underside of the top. With the top safely positioned on the legs, it will need to be centered. A tape measure will be useful here. This is the end of the heavy lifting. Note, in the hardware bag you'll find the warranty card, product registration forms, a CD containing the setup guide, 20 feet of quarter inch tubing, and a press lock fitting for the end of the tubing, as well as a reducing bushing which allows for the option of using either 1 8 or 1 quarter inch NPT male threads. You'll also find a black wrench which is used for adjusting leveling feet and three valve control arms. Make sure the table is sitting flat on all four legs. If any of the legs are high or low, use the black wrench to raise or lower the leveling feet. Note the point on the large end of the wrench to be used in the dimple on the leveling foot. The other end is equipped for adjusting the casters if that option is included. A carpenter's level can assist with making the top surface level. Make sure the black load discs are centered on the aluminum clamp ring. For smaller tables, you can push sideways on the load disc to center it. For the larger tables, you may need to utilize the leveling foot to take some load off that particular leg in order to center the load disc. This concludes Lab Table Setup Part 1.